truth that you are a slave like everyone else you were born into bondage born into a prison a prison for your mind greetings today i want to speak to you concerning the alchemy of reproduction and it was the alchemy of reproduction that allowed you to be expressed here having this human experience so in short all of us that is having this human experience we are actually taught evolve beings for example before a man and a woman can come together in the physical act of sex it has to first be a thought or first be an idea in other words it has to first be a burning desire some call it a horny feeling but it's actually a burning desire now if you understand that and the physical realm then you will understand and the spiritual and psychological realm that when you have a desire for something in this world a very burning desire that that desire is actually a spiritual sensation and if you believe in that spiritual sensation though you do not see it and you operate in faith and trust the unseen by you putting action to that which you do not see but you strongly believe it you will definitely have the experience of contacting it of contacting it through the five senses in other words it will be manifesting and what am i really saying to you i'm saying to you everything is the transmutation of energy so everything moves from energy into matter and that's the alchemy of reproduction and so through the alchemy of reproduction we see that every seed and every species it always reproduces after its own kind and that is definitely an immutable law and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see this law all you have to do is look around at nature and so because this law cannot be proven wrong you would realize that no one can plant corn and reap peas okay whatsoever you sow that is what you would also reap and that is why it is very important for you to understand that the bible is a book of mind science and that it must be interpreted psychologically that it is not literal neither is it secular history and that it was written symbolically and it have no reference to anyone or any event that would have taken place on earth thousands of years ago from the beginning to the ending of the bible it's all a great psychological drama and it all have to do with the human psyche that is why you're told as a man thinketh in his heart i are in his subconscious mind so is he and that is what brings me to the point of this book that is called can't be proven wrong by any christian where i use the divine law of reproduction to show you that everything always reproduces after its own kind and whatever you sow in your subconscious mind that is what you will experience in this three dimensional world so your world all around you are your environment whatever you are experiencing every day of your life it have to do with your thoughts so your mind is a garden and your thoughts are the seed and these seeds are actually thought frequency because everything is energy vibration and frequency and you are actually a mass of energy that is why you can create your reality consciously and you can live your life how you want it to be if you're willing to fix your mentality and that is why when abdullah taught neville gathered that the bible is a book of, that represents the human psyche abdullah gave him an exercise to do night after night without neville having any work or having any money then neville understood why it is said in the bible to come and buy milk and wine and honey without money so you have a purchasing power that is greater than money and this purchasing power is what creates money that is why i would also recommend that you read this book that called think and go rich because all of these books have been written by men and also by women also who understand that the bible is a book of mind science and they put it in their own different ways 
to show you how you can live the best version of yourself with the understanding of how the mind really works. And that is why I also teach you that the Bible is a book of magic and that you have to discover your magical self. Your magical self is actually your immortal self, that part of you that cannot die. And that is why I produced a Bible for you that is called the 66 Books of Magic. It's all about you discovering your magical self. And that is why I remove all idol out of it, which is the main character that they have in it that would keep in idolatry, which is the Jesus and Mary story. That is why I remove Jesus, I omit Jesus from the 66 books of, mag of magic and leave a blank space for you to write your name, which is I am. For I am is the name of God from generation to generation. And you can never say I am and not referring to yourself. So when you can do that, then you will understand why this book is so important. The magic of thinking big. Because secular Christianity has never really teach you to think big. Because secular Christianity is based on judgment, condemnation, doubt, and most of all, fear. And fear would always keep you crippled. And it would cripple you financially because you will have the wrong concept about money and the wrong concept about yourself. So my brother, my sisters, I will always point you to look no other place but to look within yourself to discover the kingdom of God that is within you. And that is how this book really would be very important for you, which it says, meditate to eradicate poverty. Because when you understand the power of your imagination and the power of meditation and visualization, then you would understand why in Matthew 6, 6, it says that you must go into your secret place, go into the closet, into the place of secret where your father dwells and your father is speaking of your imagination, the invisible one. Okay, and there's where you would act out that which you so desire in this world and you will come to experience it in the physical realm. Also, you would understand why in Psalms 4.4, 4, as in Psalms chapter 4 verses 4, it tells you that you must commune with your own heart upon your bed and go into that place of stillness, that place of silence, that place of meditation, that place of visualization. Because it is our mind that is creating our personality, creating our reality. So my brother, my sister, you have to hold yourself responsible for your thoughts and your actions. And so it was when Neville was willing to take action when Abdullah challenged him that he's already in Barbados. And this was taking place in a time when there was a great depression and Neville had no work. He actually had no money. And this man was telling him that he's already in Barbados. And so Abdullah further affirmed to Neville that he must sleep in his mother's home in Barbados in his imagination night after night while he resides in New York. And when he walked the streets of New York, he had to see himself in his imagination walking the streets of Barbados. And it became a reality. Okay, so my brother, my sisters, all is mine. And when you understand how the mind works, you can look at nature and you can see just as how nature works, so the mind works. Okay, because everything in nature always brings forth after its own kind and no man can change it. That is why it doesn't matter how much a Christian can disagree with you. They can never, ever prove the law of reproduction wrong. They could never prove the law of alchemy wrong. Okay, uh, the alchemy of reproduction, they could never prove that wrong. And that's why I, I would have written this whole book on that subject of the divine law of reproduction whereby every seed and every species must and will all reproduce of their own kind and show you from every, di uh, every different angle that I can that no Christian in the world can ever prove me wrong concerning the mind and how the mind and nature works together. So my brother and my sisters, the only person that you can fool is yourself when you look outside of yourself for an enemy when you look outside of yourself for the key to life 
you will be just fooling yourself because you'll be living in hypocrisy. That's why I'm saying to you, facing yourself, accept yourself, accept your positive self and your negative self and understand the law of polarity, the law of opposite. Understand, understand how to accept your God self and your devil self, okay? That self of you that is negative, that self of you that dwells in fear. So, hold to love, okay? So there's love and there is fear. But I'm encouraging you to focus more upon love. And that's why you have to start by loving yourself and believing in yourself. And you will start to multiply just like nature will multiply, will reproduce. And whatever thought uh, you dwell on most of the time, that is what you will reproduce. Because we become what we think about most of the time. Thoughts become things. So start a new level of reproduction within your life to reproduce the life that you so desire so you can definitely live your best version on this planet and replicate that of nature. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me and what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram or you like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work because it's very helpful to you, it's very, very much beneficial to you. I just want to remind you that there is a PayPal and the link is always down below. Also, I'm extending an invitation for you to be a part of my page and community if you'd like to support this work continually because you know that it is beneficial to all of humanity. I'm definitely encouraging you to go on my Patreon and become a patron. And if you want to do the, the $20 course that I have there, it's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality your reality consciously and it's what people are donating 20 or more dollars and it's all about you looking within yourself to discover that light discover that sun to discover everything that i'm speaking to you about when you discover that intelligence that is within you so you will understand why you're told that the lord thy god is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you as you can see the sun has never withhold its energy from all of humanity for your, for the sun is what powers all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy. Then you will understand also why you are told in Malachi 4 and 2. That the son of righteousness. The S-U-N. Not a S-O-N. Not a man 2,000 years ago. Not Jesus. Okay. Of 2,000 years ago. Not a man with blonde hair and blue eyes. No. Okay. That is idolatry. The son of righteousness shall arise in you. So you will find the light in you. And you will find righteousness. You will find light. And you will bring healing to yourself and to the rest of humanity. Because you will definitely discover your creativity. And you will use your creativity to be of benefit to all of humanity. So if you feel led to check out those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. So at this time, I want to say peace. <laughs> Love you all. I'm out.